today I am going to be doing a everyday makeup routine for men. This is my version of if I wear natural glam every day, which I think I am going to start wearing natural glam to work because I don't think I'm going to want to work full glam every day because I've noticed when I'm doing full glam, it's always more and more time for me to like get everything done from my eyes to my eyeliner to my eyelashes. So this is going to be like my go-to work makeup. So let's get on. So I'm going to be using my Dove Intensive Cream. And I'm going to get some of this from the back. Shit. That's a lot of primer. But... I'm going in with my photo finish pore minimizing um from a Smashbox primer. Um literally this weather out here has my pores so fucking big. And then also like I've been like really breaking out all over my neck and like you guys can see I have like that imperfection right there, a big old pimple. Uh, Literally, I've been breaking out like crazy. So now for color corrector, I am going to be going in with this Conceal It from LA Colors. I recently just tried this out. And honestly, it's super pigmented, so I don't really use that much. Last time, I used plenty, and it literally made me look like an envelope. But I recently have started color correcting because of my blueness of, like, my mustache has been peeking through a lot more. Because I feel like I've been shaving it for years. That's just getting more and more like high, like high pigmentation over my lips. Because of the simple fact that I do shave a lot. But this is going to cancel out all my blueness. Sometimes I used to think it was like, how can I say, a waste of time on doing this. But when I started watching like other people that have like this issue where their mustache would peek through they would put this on and it literally took away that blue shadow so now i'm doing it but it really does work now i am going to go in with a sponge and I'm not going to blend it out everywhere. That was the one thing I messed up on last time. Is that I was blending this out like it was a foundation. So what I do is I just get a damp beauty blender. Or beauty sponge. And I just tap in the product in my skin. Instead of like moving it everywhere. And then. I'll show you guys what I do after. Let me see. So for my under eyes, I make sure to just concentrate that concealer under my eyes only. I don't try to move it out as much because when I do that, that's when this product spreads out and it makes me look really orange. So uh, you guys can see I'm just like concentrating the product on my inner corner. So, I didn't do this before when I started concealing and correcting, but I do it now because I've seen a lot of other people do it, and it, I guess it just locks in the product there. So, I go in with like a translucent powder. This one's from Alley Girl, and it's in natural. And then, what I do is I set the concealer. That's kind of weird, huh? I set the concealer before I apply any foundation on my skin because what this does is it locks in that concealer and it doesn't make it move anywhere. So like when you apply foundation it will usually like move and blend with the foundation and stuff. But when you set it before the foundation it locks in the product right there and it doesn't move. And I learned that from Manny, or not Manny, Patrick, Patrick was talking about that, and now that I do color correct, I've noticed it does move around, so I tend to always set it before I apply my foundation, just to make sure you walk it in, because you don't want it to move anywhere, literally, do you see guys, you guys see that pimple, it is so bad. 
I've never been like, if you guys have been watching me for a minute, you guys know I don't have that much pimples or I never really broke out. But girl, I've been breaking out like crazy. Crazy. I was just going to do concealer today for like my makeup because, you know, sometimes I don't think when I go to work, I'm going to be doing like full glam. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to take my Laura Mercier foundation and I'm going to apply like a couple of drops of that on my hand. And then anything really works. If you guys have a moisturizer or anything like that, I'm going to mix my moisturizer with my foundation. And what this does, it thins, it thins out my foundation and it makes it more like a little booby cream instead of like a foundation, foundation, a full coverage foundation. So it just thins it out when you put moisturizer on. So my camera almost died. But my phone is dying actually. But what this does is when you mix in your moisturizer with your foundation, it thins it out and it makes it like a light BB cream instead of a full coverage foundation. But like you guys can see, it's still kind of full coverage, but not really. But it's really not that full coverage like it would be when you apply it directly from foundation and don't mix it with any moisturizer. And I learned that trick from, who did I learn that from? I'm trying to think. I've been learning a lot of new things recently. Um, Camila Bravo was talking about that. Mm. She was like, if you don't have a BB cream on standby, you can use your foundation and mix it in with like a moisturizer. So, I'm using my e.l.f. buffing brush. I literally love this brush. It's literally a good brush for its price. It's not bad at all. It doesn't like shed or anything. Which, if you guys tried e.l.f. brushes before, you guys know that some of them do shred. Like the red collection, like the red brushes with the white um, brush stick those shed a lot which I didn't like those really but this new collection which I think is the elite collection no it's the ultimate blending um foundation brush but the ultimate blending collection is really really good I'm trying to really blend out this foundation because i literally been doing my makeup so fast these past days that it's been like shit like why am I even doing my makeup if I'm doing it so fast you know not having hair though really makes me really really makes me um how can I say like doubt my look now because I used to always love doing my makeup when I had hair um I will say this not having hair makes me feel free I don't know why but it makes me feel a lot more free and like how can I say a whole new different person don't get me wrong i am gonna grow my hair out again if you guys are wondering by the way um i'm using concealer concealer um i'm on that progress right now i'm trying to grow it out um i just need a new look so i am setting up my concealer with the alec colors translucent natural powder <laughs> Oh my god, I have the hiccups. I've never been having hiccups this bad, but I've been having the hiccups. Um, I do want to contour, so let's contour. Um, so to contour, I'm going to be using my NYX Dual Ended Contour Stick. So, ideally, I'm really going to be wearing this look every day to work for both of my cosmetic retail jobs. By the way, I'm be I'm a beauty advisor, if you guys are wondering, for both of these jobs, which is kind of weird to me. Like, that's crazy. My position or, like, yeah, my position name is the same for both jobs, but the other job, well, one of the jobs is my dream job that I want to work at full time. So, if... I end up getting full time or becoming an assistant manager 
I am going to be so excited. But yeah. So if you guys are wondering, I would usually go in with a brush, or not a brush, a sponge to blend out my cream contour. But for the sake of me trying to wear natural glam, I usually would tend if I'm going natural glam, I'll go over with my cream contour with a foundation brush that I use to apply my foundation. And then what this would do was just make my contour less harsh and more seamless and blend it in my skin without it make it look like one straight line. Usually that's the look I usually tend to go for anyways, but just because I'm going to wear this like every day on the go, I need it to literally be natural as possible. So I'm going to be using my AOA Studio Perfect Powder to set my face. This is the Shop Miss A Cosmetics line, if you guys are wondering. By the way, the brush that I use is the Modessa Powder Brush. If you guys For contour today, I am going to be going in with my Wet n Wild um, Highlight and Contour Powder. And I'm going to be contouring my face. By the way, this brush that I'm using is an e.l.f. powder brush. And you know how I was talking about the ones that shed? This is one of them that shed. But I love how precise this one gets into like my cheek though. Do you guys see how bad I've been breathing out? Oh, what is that? Do you guys? What the fuck? I did not see that until right now. You can see this? I literally almost. I don't know why I can't speak right now. I do you guys see all that product right now? <laughs> Luckily, I saw that. Okay. So for blush today, I am going to be going in with my OA Studio High Definition F6 brush, and I'm going to be going in with my three blushes in this Elf palette, and I'm going to blush my face up. There's a little bit of blush. Let's go on more. I've been loving blush recently. It's just been like my all time thing. Especially this three way combo with this elf blush palette. Just been my I'm gonna go in with this highlighter right here from the Milani palette. And I'm gonna apply some right here. And by the way, I am using an ADA studio brush, but it's a fan, by the way, just for a precise highlight. So now for lashes, we are going to be going in with Sweet Delicious and Co. Lashes in the style Social Light. Social Light, because I'm a social light. I know a lot of you guys have been wondering, how is my brand going? I need to restock, so I did sell out my first launch, which wasn't that much of an inventory, but I did sell what I had. Um, 
thanks to you guys but I think I'm gonna rebrand my brand soon so I don't know if I'm gonna come out with a relaunch soon but most likely I am gonna come back with the same eyelashes and stuff like that but just with different branding um, packaging and stuff so just give me some time and it'll come okay okay by the way the glue I'm using is this eye eyelash adhesive in waterproof Ooh, uh, that's a lot of glue. I'm going to go in with some Color Mates mascara. This is like the dollar store brand mascara. I just can't find my mascara that I usually wear. So this is just going to have to work. By the way, this mascara is good for the price. It does dry down too. It doesn't like stay like wet or anything. So I do recommend this mascara if you guys are looking for like an affordable mascara. You guys can buy this mascara at the dollar store. So there's one lash on. I love it. You guys see how this lash looks? It looks so good, huh? This is in the style of social light, if you guys are wondering. The, the band of my lashes are very, very flexible. So if you guys need to cut it or just, you know, squeeze it in a little and make it a little bendable, that is possible. Ugh. So this one is a fluffy nutter. I'm thinking that's what it's called. It's so fucking weird. And it's the cloud pot. The cloud pout from Wet n Wild. But the name on this is so weird. And I just realized that. By the way, did you guys see the Wet n Wild collection that they came out with recently with Spongebob collab? It's so fucking funny. I want to go get the sponge. So, I can have Spongebob in my beauty blender. So, this is the completed everyday, my go-to makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please like, comment, and subscribe. Leave me a comment down below, by the way, just letting me know how you guys are doing and how you guys been. I know I've been MIA for a couple of weeks, so I'm back. But yeah so if you guys are wondering you guys can purchase these lashes at sweet delicious and co they will be on pre-order just to let me know to how much i have to like you know purchase before i restock so these are on pre-order again i'll just have these on pre-order i do have a couple of other um lashes on stock right now which is this one i have a couple other pairs but i don't have the packaging for it so just let me know if you guys want these lashes by the way this style right here that i'm wearing is in social light and yeah make sure you guys follow me on all my social media down below which is only my business account which is sweet delicious and co on instagram um and i guess that's all i have to update you guys on hmm. that's really all i have to update you guys on i think that's all hmm. is it all I think it is. Okay, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe once again. And I'll see you guys on my next one. By the way, share this video as well. Mm -hmm. Love you guys.